practical applications. Let's practice it a couple of times by ourselves over here. We're going to be scooching forward and backwards. Ready, scooching forward, scooching forward. Putting your left hand down, scooching back. Switching sides, scooching back. Coming forward, head in front of your hip line. Forward, scooching back, scooching back. Now they're moving to our left hand side. Left hand down, right hand up. Now they're moving uh, uh, to our left, so we follow. We follow. They're moving far away. We want to keep the distance. Our hands come forward and we scooch. We scooch. They're coming, they're coming uh, forward. I want to keep this distance. I scooch back. I scooch back. They're coming to our right hand side. I put my right hand down and I follow. I follow. They're coming towards us. They're bum rushing us. They're coming too fast. I come here. Now I come forward. My hands are up. They're moving forward. I want to keep this distance. I follow. I follow. They're coming forward. I want to keep this distance. I scooch back. I scooch back. They're moving far away. I technical stand up. Put my left foot down. My right hand's on the ground. I'm using the, uh, my, the ground to help get myself up. With the space I just created, I'm coming back and I end up in a fighting stance. We're back in a seated guard position. She's coming forward. I follow. I follow. She's coming back. She's coming towards me. I put my right hand down. Right hand down. And I move back. And I move back. They're coming to our left hand side. We leave our left hand down. We follow. We follow. They're coming forward. I want to keep this distance. I scooch back. I switch sides, scooch back. They're moving backwards. I want to keep this distance. My head's in front of our uh, uh, hips. I move forward. I move forward. They're coming close. They're coming way too close. I go on my back. My knees are close to my chest. My feet are ready to use to keep distance. And my hands are up, ready to get grips. They move away. I come to the seated guard position. They're moving to our right hand side. I follow. I follow. They're moving far away. I do a technical stand up. And that's our little kids class. I hope all of you uh, followed along with us. We're going to post one extra technique that's going to deal with the supine guard position. We've gone through this position before, especially all the our, our 5 to 9 and our nine and our 10 to 13s uh, guard retention drill. So if we combine these two workouts, it'll be a good way to keep active. I know a lot of us are inside and getting very little fresh air. Uh, stay positive. We'll get through this together. We'll